Good morning, it's great to see you today. It's Wednesday the 21st of July <clears throat> and uh, what a beautiful day it was yesterday. A little bit of a cloudy start today and I, but I think it's going to be another cracker of a day. And we're continuing our devotion in the book of Galatians, chapter 2. Excuse me, we're in this little subsection which says Paul confronts Peter. And I'm going to miss verse 13 because uh, I think I covered most of that yesterday. I'm going to go on to verse 14. And Paul, this is Paul writing, and he says this. <clears throat> when I saw that they, who, Peter, <clears throat> when I saw that they, and probably others, who, so remember they had, they'd, uh, he'd opposed, Paul, Paul, Paul said he'd opposed Peter face to face, that he, when he'd come, other, Peter had stopped eating with the Gentile believers, and other Jewish Christians had done the same when some other, some, some others came up. And even Barnabas, said, even Barnabas, even Barnabas was led astray. And said, when I saw, verse 14, when I saw they were not following the truth of the gospel message, I said to Peter in front of all the others, since you, a Jew by birth, have discarded the Jewish laws and are living like a Gentile, why are you now trying to make these Gentiles follow Jewish traditions? In one sense, um, this verse I kind of, I I'm, want to read it, I think like, oh gosh, um, because, you know, there's, there's, a, there's all kind of thoughts going through my head here. Um, first of all, the fact that, um, you know, this is, if you have something against another brother or sister, it says, we'll go to them one to one. I think that's more like if someone has perhaps hurt, hurt someone or upset you. And then it says, if they don't listen then, or, or you know, or they, oh, you might, you know, all, the, all this kind of stuff take two brothers and then and do it that way you know, take a few witnesses um so this doesn't follow that pattern so that kind of like i kind of like hmm okay so i kind of like when i read this i go okay um but then it says at the top paul confronts peter now as i think i said yesterday i don't like the word confront because it makes me kind of think like you know like someone coming with really angry because they're, they're really upset and they're gonna like go going at somebody because and they're confronting like no, no no eye to eyeball to eyeball nose to nose kind of thing. That's what I kind of think about the word confrontation, because um, uh, confrontation is kind of almost like almost fisticuffs to me. Um, so when I read this, this strikes a balance. It's Paul asking a question. I wouldn't say it's Paul confronting him necessarily, Peter. Is ask, Paul is asking Peter a question. The Bible says that we should always speak the truth in love. Speak the truth in love. It also says that we should speak to one another with words of, you know, encouragement, building one another up. And here, I think Paul, <laughs> Paul's the apostle, isn't he? Paul's amazing. But I think this, this feels right. This feels right to me now kind of thinking about the context thinking about the context of this and paul is asking peter this question you know you're living as a gentile because as a christian now you are not following the rules and regulations of the jewish uh the jewish law remember peter was the one who was on the roof of cornelius's house he had that that or he was there had that vision the sheet came down, don't call anything unclean that I've called, you know, that I've called clean. And Peter had that revelation. And then Peter went and he ate uh, with, uh, I think it was Cornelius, and um, preached there. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And so Peter realised that God, that the gospel of grace was for Gentiles. Praise God that he did. And, uh, and that's how we get to get saved, um, because it all happened there. Speaking the truth in love, oh, gosh, where can I start on this one? You know, I, so many times after church, people have come up to me and they've, you know, they've come up with me and they've disagreed with something I've said. I've been involved in the worship, the da 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 da, -da and, um, and, you know, because there is no perfect human being, that, you know, that we're never going to be totally perfect. And uh, we're going to say things. Sometimes I might say something to pr provoke a reaction. Sometimes I might say something to provoke you to go away and hopefully look up, look it up in the Bible yourself. Sometimes 
I'm human, I'll make, I might just say something, a bit of a loose comment. And people come up sometimes to me and say this to me. And after church, you know, after I've been involved in worship and, and I've been preaching, that's probably the worst time for me because I'm tired and I'm not at my most receptive. And, you know, I think what we need to do is we need to be very sensitive when we deal with things like this. We need to really, because sometimes we just want to just, sometimes we say, yeah, I want to speak the truth in love. Double barrels and give it to people, both barrels. That's not speaking the truth in love. That's just like getting my point of view across and I don't get who I run over. We're not meant to be like that. We are meant to be building one another up, encouraging one another on, spurring one another to greatness in God not because of anything good in us, but because of him. So we need to be careful how we do this. Speak the truth in love. I've heard that, heard that said, I'm speaking the truth in love, brother. An absolute load of rubbish. It's not that at all. It's you just want to get off your chest. It's one of perhaps your a thing that you feel very strong and passionate about. You just want to get it off your chest because uh, someone has offended you. Da -da -da -da. Paul could easily have done that, and I get the and 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 I, that's why I look at that and I read that I kind of read that I've read that verse over and over again just to kind of try and get the context of it, and um, and I think in the past when I've read it I was kind of a bit like, ooh Paul I'm thinking was that the right thing to do in front of everyone else, but you know as well Paul would probably say well actually do you know what, maybe I did make a mistake he might even say hey. Listen, I'm just a human, just, just like you. I'm not perfect. Maybe he might have, you know, privately said afterwards, actually, do you know what? Maybe that wasn't the best thing I could have done. But the way he's written it there, it was asking a question, asking a question of Peter. I think that's a good way to do things, to ask a question, non-threatening, in a non-threatening way, not accusing. Because remember, who does the accusing? comes from the very pit of hell, the accuser of the brethren. So when we, if someone says something or, and we think like, mm, I'm not sure about that, let's speak the truth in love. Really, speak the truth in love. Let's gently challenge people, ask them questions carefully, not to cause offence, not to cause uh an argument to arise because you can win the argument but you can lose somebody's heart and that's not a good place to be uh listen i hope that's been helpful today listen take care god bless see you again tomorrow in jesus name amen